my channel i'm angelica masondo thank you so much for clicking on this video be it that you're new or you're returning to my channel i hope you will all stay and watch until the end so you can like the video leave me a thumbs up smile or heart emoji just to show that you've watched until the end and of course if you're not subscribed kindly do hit the subscribe button so you can become part of our family yeah so today i'm back with a different type of video um, my husband somehow feels like he doesn't know me enough so he wants to do a q a with me ask me a variety of questions ranging from deep to funny to just conversational questions so i am a little nervous but yeah we'll see how it goes down so i don't even know what he's gonna ask me because i haven't seen the questions yet so i'm going to try my utmost best to answer them as honest as possible so we'll see what he has in store what doesn't kill you can only but make you stronger so without wasting any more of your time no mind because we know cereal's economy is expensive let's get into today's video are you gonna be kind in your questions <laughs> all right let's hit it let's hear how are you really how are you how am i i think i'm good i'm as good as can be expected um yeah man <laughs> i'm good i'm good what's the weirdest nickname someone has given to you that's my nick. Do I have a nickname? <laughs> I know a few people um, call me Gilosi, uh, which I feel like is fitting because I am in Gilosi, aka Angel, translation to one uh, Vernac speaking friends. I don't think I have a weird name. Okay, so I had two nicknames in high school. Early high school, I went by the name of the Angelo. Do not ask me why. And later on, I was scandalous, which I think, yo, yeah, that was a really bad <laughs> nickname. But wow. yeah, those are the two nicknames that I somehow gave myself. And uh, yeah, a few other people call me Gelosi. So, but what's the weirdest one that someone have, has ever given to you? I don't have a weird, I don't have a nickname. I don't have a weird nickname. A lot of people just call me Angie. Or by my full name, so I don't have one. Okay, are you finding your dream job or are you creating it? Oh, that's an interesting question. Mm. I would honestly say I am creating my dream job, I'm on the path of creating my dream job, straight to the point. <laughs> What would you do if you knew that you could not fail? Oh, oh damn. I've thought of that question a couple of times. I would... Mm, I would... Try and tap into each and every dream that I had as a child. Knowing that I will not fail at any of them. So... When I was in high school, I I knew that whatever it is that I wanted to do it had to do with being creative in the creative space. When I say creative, I mean like from interior design to music production to being a director or producer of music videos, being on camera, behind the camera, everything that's got to do with creativity. Maybe even like a little bit of fashion, not fashion designing, like something to do with fashion. So if I knew that I could not fail, I'll literally go back and start catching up on all those dreams that I once had as an 18 year old. When was the last time you did something for the first time and what was it? Starting my YouTube channel, definitely. Last year, October. No, actually, I think I started the channel. Okay, then I was fully aware and intentional of starting the channel it was in september and that was the first time i was like i'm taking the plunge um i don't know what to expect ahead but i'm just gonna do it i was nervous uh, it was a mess but definitely starting my youtube channel was the first time in a very long time where i embarked on something for myself by myself for the first time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> thank you <laughs> Tell everyone if you consider yourself an introvert or extrovert. I think 
I'm in between. It really just depends, eh? Right now where I am in life, I am probably like, I'm an extroverted introvert. I've heard people use that term and I think it describes me a, a, a lot better. I don't lean to one side more than the other because I am mostly a homebody. Sometimes not really by choice, but like <laughs> I do spend a lot of time at home with my family. I used to think I'm an introvert, but to be honest, I'm not a 100% an introvert. Yeah. yeah, maybe we need to find a word for like being in between. Yeah, we are in between. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh -huh. What old person's things do you I still, still do? do. Yeah. What old person's things do I still do? Or maybe. What old person's thing have I ad ad adopted? I don't know about still do. I still do a lot of young people's things, eh? The only thing I think I'm doing now is drinking tea. Like, what's this drinking tea business? <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm drinking a lot of tea. I love herbal teas, but I'm drinking a lot of Rebus tea with milk. And yeah, but I can't think of anything that I still do, meaning I've been doing for a while. Yeah, uh, yeah no, drinking tea. Yeah, no. Person. Yeah, no, I think drinking tea. Let's stick with drinking tea. Okay. What did you think was cool when you were young, but isn't cool now? Oh, <laughs> a lot of things were actually really cool in my growing up era. Um, I think fish nets, man. Like, I I had a lot of pairs of fish nets, and like these, I don't know, were these Arabic scarves. Whatever fashion was in trend then, I was in on it. But I think like fish nets, it's okay. No, we we can no, we can sit that one out. No fish nets, guys. <laughs> Unless it's a theme party, please. No fish nets. What are those things? Chokers. Chokers yeah. I think chokers are cool. Um, not the plastic ones that we used to buy for like five rands at whatever store. I think chokers are cool. Like the modern type of chokers, maybe like a gold choker or with like diamante or stuff. I still think chokers are cool actually. So I'll still stick to fishnets. Okay. What is love to you? Um, I know this is going to sound very typical, but it's something I've grown to understand and embrace that uh, love is God and God is love. I know it sounds very typical, but that's where I feel like the, the, the heart of love lies in God. Because he loves us, his children, um, unconditionally as flawed as we are so i really do feel like the heart of love for me is god should i go further <laughs> okay i think maybe let's get god out of uh, this whole situation and find out do you believe in true love i do believe in true love i mean i have my own true love <laughs> <laughs> i have two true loves um i think once you you meet someone who you journey with in life and you guys overcome the impossible you get to learn love through that when you are like an impossible person in a sense and you find someone that can still stick by you regardless that for me is true love and once you become a mother to another human being god trusting you to just love that person and nurture them and you look at that person with the utmost love no man that that's got to be true love like you have no choice but to just love this human being that you have created with the other person so i feel like yes i have i have two true loves definitely my husband and my daughter <laughs> okay is it possible to love someone if you don't love yourself who but like, what are you, what, 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 from what point are you loving them if you don't have love for yourself first? Because I feel like it should start with you, it should resonate with you first before you're able to share it with someone else. So I, personally, I don't think so. Okay, saying I don't think so is a bit contentious, but the right thing to say is you should love yourself, have 
self love first before you can love someone else because what are you going to be giving or pouring into the other person's cup i know it sounds like a cliche metaphor cup pouring and all of that stuff but honestly you gotta have love for yourself first so you know what it's like to like love someone else i suppose yeah okay i don't like these love questions <laughs> yeah Right, keep I like them. <laughs> okay, all right. So we'll take a break from love questions, right? So, do you think that people change? I think people grow. People grow, and the easiest way to look at it or interpret it is always change. But I suppose growth does birth change. So. It, it can either be good change or bad change. So, yes, I do believe that people can change for the better. Okay. Do you think that you're living a meaningful life? Uh, if I have to really, really be honest, and I think this is an ongoing conversation that I have with God on a daily basis, I don't feel like I am fully uh, living out my purpose. So, I don't... I don't feel 100% that I my life is 100% meaningful, but I do try to make it as meaningful as possible, but I think I'm working my way there. Okay. What do you think are the universal human rights? Really? <laughs> <laughs> think Freedom of speech, yeah. definitely. Um, safety and security. People have the right to good health. Um, is it facilities? I think. What else? Oh, what the about biggest the basic, one. Ba Education. Basic, 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 basic human rights. You, those are basic human rights. Yes. You, you, every human being has the right to firstly good education, to health, security, um, water, water, sanitation. I think that will kind of fall under health, but like it's fine. And freedom of speech, and everyone deserves to be heard. Whether they're right or wrong, I just feel like everyone deserves the right to be heard. And to be themselves. And so, obviously, yeah, be themselves as well, definitely. Live their life and live the life that you that you desire for yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Have you ever asked yourself why do we dream? Is that not like a birthright? I've never asked myself why. Just to answer your question, I've never asked myself why do we dream. Yeah, actually, that's a that's a good question. I've never asked myself that question, but I'd like to think like it's our birthright to dream. You think dreams are real? Are you talking dreams as in like aspirations and stuff, or like I'm sleeping at night, I'm dreaming? Whatever context you live. What's the question again? Why do we dream? Why do we dream? Yeah. Um, I think we dream because we aspire to reach a certain goal. Mm -hmm. um, and we see ourselves moving from point A to Z. To Z. <laughs> to, from point A to B. Like, I don't think anyone just wants to be stagnant in one yeah, place okay. forever. <laughs> like... No, like I just feel like even if it's moving from A to B and not necessarily a huge jump from A to F, yeah, I feel like everyone somehow does dream, but not everyone gets to live out their dream or fulfill their dreams. I think that's where the tricky part comes in. So, last five questions, right? And these ones uh, are a bit more. Oh my god! No, it's easy if you like. All right. Okay. So, but yeah, you, you will need to tune in to yourself a little bit, mm, right? I hate this question. So, you're alone in the, middle, in the middle of the night and can't get to sleep. What do you think about it? When am I? <laughs> I'm laughing because this happens a lot. And to distract myself and I play games on my phone. What do I think about? Yeah. It depends what's keeping me up though. Like if, if I'm distracted by like some sound outside or whatever, then I'm, I'm just thinking about that sound and wondering, is it a real sound? Is it here? Is it next door? Is it wherever? What is happening? What's causing the sound? So it really depends on what is keeping me up. Um, sometimes it can be worry. 
which I'm trying to work on, you know, but it's, it's now normal and natural for people to worry. It really depends on what's happening in my life at that time. So it could be anything. <laughs> it could be anything. I could be going through something or facing some sort of challenge and that's like lingering in my mind. And knowing my mind, my mind really holds on to things. So that might keep me up at night. Or something great just happened in the day and I'm just sitting there and I'm like... Oh my gosh, this is so great. So it really depends. I, I, I can't pin it to one specific thing. Yeah. Yes. Did you close your eyes? Right, and then think of things that make you smile when you think of them. <laughs> and tell everyone oh my what gosh. are they. Things that make me smile. Oh, things that make me smile definitely one of the first things that make me smile is I think my childhood memories anything that consists of or that includes um, my childhood growing up with my grandparents my mom my dad because they all late so when I think back to those good old times it makes me smile and thinking of my wedding day actually makes me happy thinking back to the day that my husband and i finally said i do to each other and we solidified our union that also makes me really really happy and fuzzy and warm inside and what else sure there's a lot of things that actually make me happy how many things do you want me to mention no that's fine i think if, if, if and the prospect of money <laughs> the prospect of money make me happy all right <laughs> and then this is your last question can i open my eyes yeah you can i was going to ask what uh, uh what what makes you nostalgic but i think that also ties in to what you just responded to now but i can answer it what makes me nostalgic yeah yo man like i had a different childhood to a lot of people that like in my neighborhood so every childhood every school holiday but this is back in primary school my mom would always take me to my grandparents with <laughs> there's no better way of putting it and i enjoyed both farm life and township life and like the suburban life in a sense so just having the the, the balance or the experience of all three is great because like I can literally fit into almost all, the, all of them. Okay, I don't know now if I can 100% fit into farm life or farm lifestyle, but this life was so simple. We had like 100% organic food. I think the only thing that was bought was like salt, maize meal, but my, my, my grandmother like literally made everything from bread to her own butter, her own jam literally everything so like my childhood is nostalgic and it really really makes me happy i do not regret any part of it as i grew up i actually appreciated that my mom did that for me and i'd come back two shades or three shades darker with a funny accent and my friends would just laugh at me but i always had the best um back to school holiday stories my essays were always both for english and Afrikaans. <laughs> okay last question uh, before you cut Ooh, this single. segment, what's the one thing you want to achieve before you die or leave this world? Wow, it's funny how you sit and you think about these things, but when it's asked to you by someone else, it's like, what? My wildest dreams, eh? Um, there's a lot of things that I couldn't do when I thought it was the time for me to do them and I didn't. And I just feel like um, I've been given like a second chance at life. Like you won't get it, but I understand what that means. The fact that I'm even sitting, standing here, I've got a YouTube channel. Um, it's a different way of me living out a dream that I could never do when I was 18 or 20 or whatever the case is. So if I can at least achieve one of the dreams that I have before I depart, that's fine, I'll die. I'll die a happy person. And we have reached the end of the session. <sighs> Thanks for asking the questions, babe. I like, ah, uh, I thought you were gonna be nicer and kinder to me. Ah, uh, those good questions were easy. No, but like, I'm your girl, you must have my back. Hey, man. <laughs> no, man. Hey, man. Love questions. Yeah. Why don't you ask me if your house, the house is on fire? What's the five items that you'll grab first? 
Like it all. Yeah, because we were expecting those <laughs> questions already. That's why I wasn't going to ask you those questions. If you could live in one color, what color would you live in? What color then? Ah, what's my my dream holiday destination? Uh, Must be nice. Uh, Must yeah, be nice. I guess you, you'll tell uh, everyone in due time. Okay, maybe let me let me ans- ask myself one question, then I'll answer it. Okay. If the house was on fire and I had and I had to grab five things or items, I've got this one bag that's got everything, like my essentials, like essentials, like my phone, my camera, everything will be it. So I'll grab that bag. I'll grab a blanket in case we have no way to sleep. At least we have a blanket on our bags. I will grab my laptop. I will grab my Bible and I will grab my... Oh my gosh, I know I've thought of this question before. Why am I forgetting what's the last thing? What's the last the thing? The house is burning down. The house is burning. It's my tote bag with all my essentials. It's a blank, a huge blank, the biggest blanket I can find. It's my laptop. It's my Bible. It's, 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 it's oh my gosh, the house is on fire. What's the last thing? Five, why did I say five? The most comfortable sneakers that I have. And what about your identity? I mean, how are you going to identify yourself? It, after it's that? in the bag. Like, ah, my wallet is in the bag. When I said essential bag, my wallet is in there. Yeah, it's got my driver's yeah, license, yeah. my ID, okay. my bank cards, everything. Okay. But I will grab the most comfortable sneakers that I own, and that will be my All Stars. Because if it's time to run, you have to be comfortable. Yeah. So, those yeah. are the five things. I wonder what your other shoes will feel like now. No nah. Worries. You can't. The house is <laughs> Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching up until this far. Please let me know what you think down in the comment section. And remember, if you don't have anything much to say, just to show me that you guys were here and you watched until the end, please leave me a thumbs up, heart or smiley emoji. And if you're not subscribed yet, please do the right thing and join the family by clicking the subscribe button. So the subscribe button has to turn from red, it must turn gray. Why am I forgetting what I wanted to say? And what else did I want to say? Yeah, man, thank you so much, guys. And I think I'll see you guys on the next one. That's it for me. I'm Angelica Masando, and I am signing out. Peace. Peace out. That was weird. That was weird. <laughs> that was so weird. But I, I, I done did it. I done did it. Yeah.